Sorry about the lighting, there's only one light in here and that's up there, so it's a bit shadowy here. Uh, but anyway, welcome back to the Chuckster. I know it's been nearly a year, okay, I know. And I'll explain why and everything, and I'll explain everything that's happened since, um, because trust me, a lot has happened, like a fuck ton. Firstly, today's video is basically I'm going to be trying to create a skull look. I know it's past Halloween, I don't care, this is not a Halloween look, this is me practicing because I'm kind of a trainee makeup artist right now and I really want to try doing a skull look because I haven't done that before. So yeah, let's get comfortable and get into it. So firstly, I'd like to address that um, Cam and I are no longer together. I won't get into details why or anything, but yeah i've moved out i'm I, i'm not at home anymore i am currently living here and here is uh in chichester uh in student accommodation because i have gone back to college to learn to be a makeup artist and i moved out here for it so i'm actually by myself now yeah <laughs> I think those are the two major things that's that's changed since you last saw me, so I will now get straight into the skull look. So firstly, I'm going to be using this Cryolan Aqua palette, as you can see here, and I'm going to be using these brushes. I don't know where they're from though. Funky Foxes. Funky Foxes brushes. These are really good body art brushes. Now usually with cream products you have to decant them for hygiene purposes but you don't have to for face paints. don't know why, it's just like a whole different ball game. Obviously you still have to sanitise them after each person but... very important step I was gonna block out my eyebrows since it's, it's a bit too late for that so I'm just gonna paint over them eyes done next I'm gonna do the nose because I'm scared to go onto the cheeks because that's like proper artist drawing which I can't do okay it's a bit lopsided but you know what skeletons are all unique Say it together now. <laughs> this is how I justify my work. <laughs> I suppose now it's time for the cheeks. So, let's see this. I'm trying to think. Because um, it's kind of like 
goes up from here, circles around here, goes up there, I think. <laughs> By the way, new rule on my channel, right? I'm trying not to swear. You can see it worked well just then, but I want this to be professional, you know? Maybe I should have done the teeth detail first because I wanted the teeth to be extended, but I can't if that's in the way. This is too big, isn't it? Oh, I'm confused. I'm like, here's where the teeth are. There's like not enough space. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna like, outline where each teeth is and then I'll put white in the middle. Then I'll do some shading around it. All the shading and detail's gonna come after. Okay, so now I've got the teeth detail in. What I'm gonna do is take some yellow and some brown and some orange and just kind of make the teeth look a bit rotten. And for this, I'm going to be using my Krylan Bruise Wheel. <laughs> softboxes from home. That's the uh, teeth done. It's probably not good I'm doing this on my lap but anyway I have some Cryolan fake blood here. It gets everywhere hence the label like it's it's sticky you know it doesn't really dry properly and it just gets everywhere. It's bloody annoying but it's so good. So this is actually an old Nutella lid which is which I am recycling. It's my palette. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a lot of fake blood on the mouth now. It did go in my mouth at one point, which it made the teeth look awesome, but doesn't taste that good. Actually, it's weird, because it's chemically, but it's got a sweetness to it. So, don't know. <laughs> now I'm just gonna add some shading and depth around everything, and we will get, finally, to the final piece. Okay, so this is the final look. I would do like a cinematic of it, but the lighting is so bad, I know you can't see it. That is a bit like too square for my liking. Corners, it's like, it's, it's, it's a bit too neat. Actually, that's the problem I found with a lot of my work, like with blood and stuff. I'm far too neat and precise. I need to just let loose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've done the shading and this is the final look. Time well spent. <laughs> I'll leave some uh, like final pictures up after so you can see it in better lighting because my god this is awful. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you guys like this be sure to give it a like. <laughs> you can tell it's been a year since I've done YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm turning this channel into a kind of like portfolio for my makeup. Um, yeah kind of thing. <laughs> uh, and I'm back baby. At least I hope so. I want to be. I'm not going to set uh, like times or days of when I'm going to upload or anything like that because then I'll miss the deadline then I'll go oh I'll do next deadline then I'll miss that and it'll just never happen. It will be willy nilly when I feel like it. Yeah? Good. Except it won't be nine months apart like this one has been. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like the new layout, plain background, because I'm only allowed one place where I can hang stuff up, so yeah. I might do a room tour in the next one, who knows. Leave a like if you want that. Um, yeah, cheesy wave guys, subscribe! <laughs>